football, women's football team from 2005. So in certain ways, these are both very um, uh, straight up documentary um, techniques, but they end up being very fascinating and kind of affecting just because they do take the time to record stuff as it is. You've got some works that also look at how best laid plans go, um, go awry. Okay, so, you, so the work of Daniela Brahm is a good example. She um, makes a lot of work um, in particular or given contexts, uh, responding to particular sites, um, and you know, does a lot of work with temporary structures. And so in this, in, in this um, when she was essentially assigned this space, she, she decided to make this kind of construction hoarding and, and use some of the posters that she, that she um, produces that, that are kind of like an evocation of, um, of um, how built space then ends up being used for real purposes, for the purposes of people who need to get messages out there into the world or planned space becomes, becomes undone. And I think we see that also in the work of Ingo Gerken, the, the um, documentation of um, his um, small actions in the city. They're, they're quite playful, but I, th I think they kind of, they somehow suggest how, uh, how the official city is, seems, seems sometimes to be planned at the whim of, of some uh, all-powerful entity that, that, that you know, holds, up a, holds up a ruler and says, okay, like this, go, do it. And then you, I think you have some works that, res that, that um, uh, or that uh, communicate some of the emotional content that we all have for the cities that we, that we live in. So a good example uh, of that is Rui Calzada Bastos' love map in the other room. It looks at, at first glance as seamlessly to be um, a map of some large city, uh, but it's in fact a, a piece together from the maps of four, of four cities that are important to his to his heart, um, so the cities of Berlin, Paris, Budapest, and Lisbon, where he's from. To me, it's like a, it's a good symbol of the mental process and gymnastics that we go through, uh, all of us who who've lived in different cities, to to sort of like knit them, weave them together in our in our heads and in our in our hearts. And then the other work that you that um, is a uh, small projection of um, a series of video vignettes of of. Um, of uh, small details of, is shot in the city, so um, plastic bags being blown around by the wind, um, or else um, shadows being uh, moving across a, a building facade. So it's it's um, I think it's also quite a moving um, record of these small moments that that um, that make up the actual texture of the things that we that we that we live in in, uh, in cities. And another work that I want to mention in, in some, somewhat the same vein is this is a work by Lars Ramberg. These are the train schedules from Ostbahnhof, which is a, um, what, the, the large um, East German or East Berlin tra uh, train station. Um, the words ich verstehe, nicht, uh, ich verstehe nur Bahnhof, which means um, I only understand railway station. Um, which can be can be um, taken into in a, in a couple of different ways, um, as he tells it the the story, um, uh, or as he tells the story, the uh, it was a phrase used by World War One German soldiers who were tired of being on the front and just wanted to be sent home, and so it was a kind of uh, it was a kind of um, refusal to accept anything but the words that were going to send them home, right? The orders to go home. So it, it's a, a kind of uh, you know a willful. Uh, Refusal, in some way, to to to, uh, to 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 use space other than how you want it to to, to be used. Um, it's also still used as an expression for um, for um, indicating a kind of complete um, lack of understanding, right? As as you can imagine, a tourist might um, might say when they, a tourist who's only learned the words Bahnhof, so the only thing you know, the only thing they can understand is is uh, is, is train station. So it's a kind of I think reminder of how how um, our own knowledge and experience shapes the city. And so ultimately that's, that's the kind of work that I wanted to, to bring together in this, uh, and the kind of artists that I wanted to bring together in this show was artists who have taken this kind of personal responsibility for, um, uh, for the city that they, that they live in and for making that kind of, that city into, in the shape of or into the shape that they want.
Thank you.